It looks like a permit. Dude, that's sick. You don't always have to be on the inshore flats to find the permit. Look at the turtle. Dude, it's like an aquarium out here. Clay, this is just almost as beautiful as you. And that's, my friends, how you get what you want. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. I'll grill some swordfish steaks for you. Oh, look at that. All right, I got him. You just gotta make the marinade. Yeah. That's like saying, I'll do you a favor. As long as you do me a favor. Mahi, 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 mahi. There's that damage bull. I got the bull. Oh my God. <laughs> we got a storm brewing behind us. That's right. All good things come with a sacrifice, baby. Tell me that does not look like a mixture between a steak and a piece of chicken. He will take you first class. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Whew. It's hot and flat and beautiful. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Down here in September, it almost seems like everybody forgets about us. Yeah, because everyone's getting back into school, getting back in the groove of things. So it's really nice for us locals because we get a little break from all the tourism and we it get feels, the waters to ourselves. Yeah, it kind of feels like we have our entire backyard to ourselves. And we're having a cookout tonight. We're having a bunch of friends over. So yeah. we have no other option rather than to bring back some meat. So we got the boat completely loaded up. We're ready for everything. So it's an afternoon. Typically, the afternoon trips always produce very well. So we're going to see what we can put together today. I think we just figured out one of the biggest reasons why nobody comes down here in September, and that's just because there's moon jellyfish everywhere. Yeah, listen, if you behave bad, I know exactly where I'm gonna bring you, <laughs> right here, throw you in. Listen, if I could be with you, I could definitely handle a couple moon jellyfish. <laughs> These moon jellyfish are nothing. So, I hate to say it, I've been stung a couple times. It's really not that bad. It is that bad, it depends you get, who you, you are. You get used to it after I don't. I don't get used to it. You don't like little sting? No. You don't like stings? No. That, I do not like getting pinched. Look, look at how close together some. There's just like four of them just packed so tightly together. They actually don't have brains, but they have very complex nervous systems. They have no direction. Um, they don't necessarily know where they're going. So their location is always subject to whichever way the wind and current's going. Just something that happens that's really cool down here in the Keys, and especially when it's this calm and the water's clear. I mean, you can just see there's just moon jellies for it's miles. Everywhere, yeah. There's no getting away from them. You see that right there? Yeah. It looks like a permit. Really? Yeah, I think that's a permit. Let me throw this plug at him. You look like a plug. Dude, that's sick. That's so cool. That's unbelievable. You can see everything here. Ah, he spooked. That was sick. You don't always have to be on the inshore flats to find the permit. Look at the turtle. There's a turtle right next to us. Dude, it's like an aquarium out here. That is so cool, man. Clay, this is just almost as beautiful as you. <laughs> Almost. Almost. You're just so perfect. You just, you bring that cherry on top to this weather. I'd choose you over good weather any day. And that's, my friends, how you get what you want. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Does it work? No. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta learn some new tricks. What do you mean? This is a hard dog to fool. Oh, God.
should we use, Stephanie? Squid or mahi belly? Let's try out the squid. The squid? Yeah. You know, what's interesting about a swordfish is every single time I catch one and I cut open their stomach, it's typically squid in there. Really? Mm-hmm. Because everybody cal likes calamari. Well, yeah, you remember that calamari we had the other night I made for you? I'd be lucky if you made any dinner for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you a deal. If we get a swordfish, I'll grill some swordfish steaks for you. You just got to make the marinade. Oh, that's all the work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's least, like saying... At least I'm doing that's something. Like, that's like saying... I'll do you a favor. As long as you do If you either. put the f clothes in the washer, you'll do the, the folding. The worst part is the folding. Well. The easy part's just throwing it in there. Well, lucky for you, the laundry fairy comes. Yeah, that's called me, myself, and I. <laughs> All right, so since the Gulf Stream current travels from the south up towards the north, what we're doing is we're traveling with the current. As it's going north, we're gonna throw out our squid. 15 feet, our first light, another 15 feet, second light. Then another 15 feet from there, third light. And then we're gonna let out all 150 feet of this 250 pound wind-on leader. And at the end of the wind-on leader, we attach this to the braid with a bimini twist and then a cat's paw to the wind-on leader here. And then we have 65 pound braid and then we have this wax loop at the end here. Take our long liner clip, which is attached to our 12 pound weight. We're gonna clip that on just like that. And Stephanie's gonna pick up the boat to about seven miles an hour, still traveling down current. And here we go. And then once this reaches the bottom, then we're gonna turn the entire boat around, do a 180 and then we're gonna go up current rather than down current. Key is here to keep the boat in motion because we're just stretching the leader out. When you have this much line out, when you're going 1500 feet down to the bottom, there's so much that can happen on the way down, just that line tangling up. We wanna make sure that if we get that bite, we make it count. Now we're just gonna reel up and we're just gonna have her get straight up and down on top of this. So once you get to this point, this is where you kind of go a little crazy because we're just sitting here looking at the rod tip. At any moment, if you drift off and you're not paying attention, you may get that bite and you may completely miss it. Oh, Mahi, right there, right there. Mahi, 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 Mahi. Up to the boat. Nice one too. That's a good one. So it's alone, the squid's in there, right? Yeah, the squid's there. Got him? Yeah. She's got him. Oh yeah. She's got the fish. Clay, this is a gaffer. Yeah, I know. Let's just keep him connected. There's more! They're all is pink! There? They're okay. all pink! Nice dolphin. Yeah. Bunch of nice fish. That's a got him. Doubled up, baby. Woohoo! That's a nice fish you oh, got, I'm Stephanie. Under. I'm under, I'm under. Ah. <laughs> this we got another one in the back. We got a triple right now. Hey babe! What's Listen. Up? Oh. oh, look at that. Hey, Clay, do me a favor. So oh, cool. there's bigger Wow, there's ones. a big ball there. Yeah, come here, come here. There's Get a this big one ball. up. Come here, come here. What gaff do you want me to do? One. Gaff okay. him. Get the gaff. He's right here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come here. Look at that bolt. Look at that one. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Watch the engines. Watch the yep, engines. Yep, yep, Get that rod tip low. Bring him up. Bring his head up. Bring his head up. Mahi. Good job, Stephanie. Oh, baby. Careful with your foot, with the hook. Careful with the hook. We got one under the boat. Look at them. Woo. There's another one. There's two. This three, one's under the boat. Both of them. This one's under the boat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just lift up. Do me a favor. This one's hooked up here. Both of them. This one's hooked up? All of them. Wow, nice fish. Wow. We're hooked. We have three. The other one's hooked up over there, too, Clay. Yeah, I know. Ah. He's going under. There's that huge bull! Clay! Come on, baby! Seventy, oh. get the rest of these fish in! I'm gaffing fish on my own here! Hold on! All right. All right, here we go. I got, got the one in. Yeah. Oh, there's the bull! That's I think I got the bull! 
You got the bull? I got the bull. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, baby. We got the bull. We got the bull. He's right Come there, on. baby. Come on. Dude, There's it's been so long since there. I've caught a big bull like this. Look at these other oh ones. Oh my god. All right, while I'm waiting, while I get this Dude, fish up. That one's huge. Come here, give him. I think I need the bigger hook. No, you're good. Trust me. That is the perfect size hook. Oh my gosh. This is a talk about. Doesn't matter where you get them, just get them. Okay. Bring them up. I gotta get him to the side. No. Okay. Come on, babe. Let's go again. Let's go again. Sorry. I just want to make sure if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. No, that's that's okay. I think we lost a lot of our fish back there. All right, bring them up. Like I said, just stick them somewhere. It doesn't matter where you stick them. Okay, come on. Let's get them up. Come on, come on. He's not wanting to go. Gosh, that's good. All right. Well, come on. So on the sword drop, man. We're here sword fishing. Just had a whole school of fish come up. And then I saw this big bowl within the school. Caught a couple, got them in the boat, and then I was lucky enough to hook up on this one with the big bucktail. The only problem is here is we have so much weight on that bucktail. If he comes up and jumps or changes direction, we can lose this fish. Yeah. We've already had him boat side a couple times. And all right. All like right. I said, 70, doesn't matter where you stick them. You just, just gotta bring him to the surface. I'm trying my best. All right, bring him over here. Hold on, just wait. Be patient. He's gonna pinwheel. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. In the boat. Bring that sucker up here, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Good job, Stephanie. Oh, wow. That's a good sized dolphin right Dude, there. Dude, that's like a 30 pounder right there all day long. Woo! Woo! Talk Woo! about a trophy fish right there, man. It's been such a long time since we've caught a big bull mahi like this. Hey, even if we don't get a swordfish, that's a day maker right there, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Woo! That feels good. It does feel good, good baby. Job. <laughs> <laughs> Noggin! <laughs> that was the coolest thing in the world, especially when the water's as slicked out calm as it is right now. You see a big bowl like that race to your lure? Oh yeah, we're eating so good cool. tonight! Swordfish on, baby! You got to be kidding. You, 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 you! We got a fish on. So I'm gonna get a harpoon ready just to try to secure this fish to another lime. Once these fish get near the boat, that's typically always when they're lost. And the way that you think about it, right, he's 1,500 feet down on the bottom. As soon as he gets to the top, that angle completely changes. So it's a great opportunity for that hook to slip out. Awesome. I'm also gonna get some gaffs ready. Got both of our veil prototype gaffs here. Hopefully we get to test them out. It's coming up nice and easy. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab Go ahead and Just grab. understand, 70, there's two different size hooks here. Yep, I know. Big Make one. sure you're grabbing the bigger hook. Let's see what we got. Good job driving the boat. You're welcome. Keep it, keep it going steady. So, Stephanie, once this fish starts getting close, I just want you to keep the boat in gear to just stretch everything out so we can pull that weight off as best as possible. Just really pay attention, Stephanie, okay? Yeah. Because it, what, what's going to happen is, is he's going to try to go around for the engine. So always remember to turn to the left. Here's the, well, here's the weight. Go ahead, pop it in gear. Make okay. sure you're turning to the left, out of gear. There we go. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Keep going, keep going. And he should be surfacing pretty soon. 
All right, let's see what the deal is. There he is. I'll do this. You keep, you stay on the boat. Stay on the boat. He's coming to the surface. There Frankie, he is, there he is. Bill. There's his bill. That's a big one. Come huh? on, baby, come on. All right, 70, straighten out a little bit. Straighten out a little bit, 70. He's coming. Oh, look at that. Okay, just Neutral, look. neutral. Keep going, keep going. He's going towards the front. Put it in gear. Put it in gear. Keep it in gear. Okay, here, I got this. Here. All right, I got him. All right. All right, get another gaff. Get another gaff. Sword and a bull mahi, are you kidding me? All right, I got the second gaff. Okay. This is all we need right here, man. We've done our part. We've released a lot of small swordfish, but today was the day. It was time for us to take one. Just an unbelievable day. I mean, I, I just, I can't believe it. This is something that I'll remember for the rest of my life with my wife, baby. Woo you did so good, Stephanie. Congratulations. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm shaking exhausted. too. I mean, I'm just ready to put this thing in and head in because That's right. what a day. We got a storm brewing behind us. That's right. All good things come with a sacrifice, baby. Careful. Bill first. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo! Try not to kill myself. <sighs> Careful with this bill. Okay. <sighs> Unbelievable how it works out sometimes. I mean, we were just about to go home and then basically this fish right here was the buzzer beater. Last drop, last drift of the day. But we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna cut this fish into four sections. We are gonna run the knife right down the middle of his body, trying to stay right along his backbone. I'm actually gonna flip him around. So I'm just gonna make a cut right here. Do the same exact thing, but now work back. And then we're basically gonna cut it up into quarters. We're gonna come down real nice and easy, just like that. And then we're gonna work that meat right off of his body. Now we're gonna work on our next quarter, right here. We're moving it right off of his backbone. And it's just as simple as that. We're gonna keep on moving down the fish. Beautiful. All right, now we're just gonna do the other side. Then we're gonna cut it up into steaks, cut around the skin. Some people actually like to cook it with the skin. That is one of the most delicious fish that swims in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. My hair's a mess, but whatever. So we have about all we can fit into this tray here. We have plenty more behind us, but Stephanie's gonna go ahead and get started on our marinade. Yeah, so I found this recipe online. It looked pretty simple, and it was just, you needed to marinate the swordfish for 15 minutes and then throw it on the grill. And when you've got this many mouths to feed, you gotta make sure it's simple, easy, and tasty. You got some parsley, garlic, fresh thyme, lemon zest, soy sauce, salt and pepper, and some honey, and it is going to taste probably delicious because I have yet to taste bad swordfish. So, for those of you that don't know, whenever you're driving through Key Largo, and you're stopped at the light right there, right across the street from the public. Richard's Boat Dealership, him and his brother actually own Boat Depot, him and Julian. 
And if it weren't for Richard, Stephanie and I would have never even have met. So all of you guys at home, you can thank this guy for life by the bath. <laughs> it's my fault, I guess. <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. Of course, Thank man. You. That you guys, was the biggest and best sale I've ever made, by the way. That's right. Buy, buy a boat or just go there and bother them and act like you're going to buy one. <laughs> They're really nice people. They always have good company and good food there. Yeah, 100 percent. This guy right here, he's single. And he's a pilot. He'll fly you wherever you and he'll fly you wherever you want to go. Yeah. Wherever your heart desires. Yeah. He will take you first class. Just kidding. Just look at that. Tell me that does not look like a mixture between a steak and a piece of chicken. By far, one of my favorite fish to catch, one of my favorite fish to eat, and it's such a rewarding feeling when you put in all that time and that thing just comes up jumping on the surface and you just get to enjoy something like this. And of course, with good camaraderie. In this house, the men go first, then the women. Hi, <laughs> my kids, let's go! <laughs> it smells even better than it looks. Yeah. Hey, this swordfish is really good. Really? Ooh. Are you saying that for the camera or are you saying it? No, I'm actually saying it. Well, it seems like the recipe was definitely a success. It's really cool that we were able to get all these people together this quick. Just mm -hmm. goes to show that. Whenever you can round people up as quick as we did, you got a good group of people around you that always come whenever you need them. And we definitely had a lot of fish, so got a lot of people here to put it all down. And it seems like everybody really enjoyed it. Appreciate the marinade. <laughs> 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 Appreciate you guys coming over, helping us eat it all. It's not about just eating it either. It's about the company and just enjoying each other. Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that being said, <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming. Thank yeah. you, guys you guys for watching. Thank you. And um, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Till next time. See you guys then. Bye guys.